guys, it's Renee in Kimono. We have Coupon the Cat right there uh, with all the Purex. She's keeping a watchful eye. Um, I finished a deal today uh, at Rite Aid. It is basically spend 50, get back $20 in bonus cash. You can throw in coupons. You can uh, roll your bonus cash. Um, and they don't limit you to $5 like some stores. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I got a whole bunch of Purex because my bundle of coupons arrived from California from Sandra Coupon Hustler. I po posted a video earlier today if you want to check it out. Uh, she has some fantastic uh, bundles for sale and if you're looking to get some coupons to haul like this, <laughs> she's the lady to hit up because she is fantastic. And in her bundle for the Retail Me Not uh, for last weekend, there was a dollar for both the Purex liquid and crystals. Now I had an intention of getting a whole bunch of crystals and a whole bunch of liquid, but what happened is, uh, I guess people started going crazy with the crystals and I could only find five and I did go to a couple different stores. So what I did was I got a bunch of really fun different scents. I probably can sell these for, um, $2 if not, uh, yeah, $2 each, um, at a future stockpile sale. And considering I used coupons and rolled bonus cash, I really didn't pay anything out of pocket for this. Um, and Purex is not my favorite detergent, but these sell really well. So, um, I had some in my bundle and, uh, man, did I go crazy. So I basically had, um, like $11 from Sunday tracking and, um, I got all of this Purex and then two of the Arm and Hammer. And I think I'm going to call it good, um, because I'm noticing that, the stores here um, really don't have a lot remaining. So people must have gone crazy earlier this week, but I'm still really happy with what I got because that is like an ocean of stuff. And considering I'm just trying to rebuild some of my detergent, I think this is a pretty good rebuilding step. Um, I also got one of these um, razors and a $4 coupon came out of the Catalina machine. So that's the only reason why I got it. We have a new little deal here on the degree deodorant. And then um, I got this guy as a filler item. So let's just talk um, about Rite Aid right off the bat because there is just so much. And this is so impressive looking, isn't it? It's like an ocean of stuff. So what I did for this deal, guys, was I was just finishing, you know, spending 50. Um, and I was like um, about $40 short. Um, so I grabbed 12 of the Purex Purex liquids, $1.99 times 12 is a price point of $23.88. Five of the crystals, I'm um, at $1.99, that's $9.95. And then two of the Arm & Hammers, $2.99 each for $5.98. And as all of my coupons came uh, from California today, I was able to do this because I didn't have the coupons prior to that. So this is a subtotal here of $39.81. I had dollar coupons for all of these items, subtracting 19 bucks as I have 19 items. Uh, I had $20.81 out of pocket. And basically what I did was I had bonus cash on this card and I just rolled it all. And then I had $11 tracking from Sunday. So that's a subtotal if you add that plus what I had on Sunday of $50.81. So I did get back my $20 of bonus cash. You can do this twice per account, but because of the limitations I have with coupons and um, I just really wanted to get the cheapest detergent. I didn't really care to stock up on Arm & Hammer. I think I'm done here. I mean, you can do this twice per store card so I can keep going, but I think I'm just gonna say uh, I'm good for this one. Um, so very, very happy with it. Very, very pleased. Um, the next thing I got was one of these Gillette five razors and I had purchased uh, something and then it basically came out of the Catalina machine. This guy is $7.99 subtracting that $4 um, Catalina coupon. Um, and it just basically says uh, $4 off one of these Gillette razors. So I, I used that. I paid $3.99 out of pocket, got back $5 in bonus cash, making it free plus a dollar one moneymaker. Now, unfortunately, another coupon didn't come out of the machine, but you know, these are the breaks. Uh, the next deal is absolutely fantastic. And I did find this on Instagram uh, from a friend of mine, all the more free, she posted this. So I just snagged this deal from her. I basically grabbed one transaction, two, and then the second transaction, two of these degree dry sprays. And they have this freshness peely, which is a dollar off. And that's what it's called, this special yellow coupon. So here's the math, guys. Uh, these guys are on clearance for $3.64. Times two is a price point of $7.28. Two of those dollar freshness feelies subtracts two bucks. Then I also used two of these $2 in ad coupons. And then when you scan two of these, this guy pops out of the Catalina machine. 
So basically, it made it free right here plus 72 cents of overage. And um, I basically had some detergent for one of the transactions. And the second transaction, I didn't. So I actually grabbed this little lip balm to grab the 72 cents of overage and it worked perfectly. And then um, you get a $2 of bonus cash, a um, dollar for each. So I got back $4 for this. So that's pretty good, you know? Free plus, um, you know, a $4 money maker for these dry sprays. Yes, please, and thank you so much. So I have another store card and, um, I am going to go do this again tomorrow. Uh, it's just fantastic to get these dry sprays, um, you know, as a money maker. And what I would do is um, look for the ones with the freshness peely and uh, follow my lead by two at a time. So you can utilize this coupon too, along with the um, flyer coupon. So fantastic. So very, very pleased with, with um, Rite Aid. This is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the next story that we have <coughs> is... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat, is Dollar General. Now, um, this deal, uh, guys, it is weird. Um, you know what? Every time I go to, to Dollar General, it's weird because I don't really know the store that well. Um, sometimes when I go shopping there, things go just like really bad and I just end up leaving with nothing or everything's cleared from the store or the cashiers are nowhere to be found. <laughs> and then other times I go there, something like this happens. Um, so basically, this is transaction one. Um, seven of these um, dry detergents, one of these fireworks, five of these. Um, and it was like, I think I paid 72 cents for the first one. And then the second one, I think I paid like 80 cents. It was really weird. And um, this is working with a five off of 20 on the game products along with manufacturer coupons. And um, like, I don't know why if I had another load coupon that it came off or what. I, I'm just not really sure. I cooked up this in my head and I thought it would be a really great deal. And um, the manager actually rang me up and um, she was really, really nice. And um, she scanned all the coupons and it just it worked. So um, let's just look at the math. But again, um, if you're like a newer to couponing at the Dollar General, I would say pass on this deal because it, like, I don't really have a lot of experience, but uh, things could go hairy really quickly. Um, and if you don't have a nice um, store member or cashier with you, um, you this will not work <laughs> whatsoever. Um, so I'll just show you again what I got. I got uh, five of these and I have dollar coupons. So this would be a total freebie. And I did this over two transactions and they're four accounts each. So believe it or not, guys, I actually got 40 of these um, finished power balls. And a lot of you might think it's stupid to get like, you can use five like coupons and to keep hauling these little tiny ones found in the dollar spot. But you know what? I have 40 tabs now, so that's not bad. And then I got some yesterday as well, so I'm starting to really stock up on these little ones. Um, I also got one of these um, uh, fireworks. I just like these, and this is the 6.5 ounce. And then I got um, seven of these um, dryer sheets. So let's look at the math. Um, the dryer sheets are $2.45 for seven of them is uh, $17.15. 50, $3.95 for that fireworks. Uh, that's a price point of $21.10. Now I have that five off a of 20 coupon. Um, I thought with manufacturer coupons, um, that would work really well. And it would should theoretically work to drop this down to like $2 and some change I would pay out of pocket. But I must have had other load coupons or something that extra stuff came off because it just something really screwy happened. And I'm going to show you the receipt here in a hot second too. Um, I know that a vintage librarian sometimes watches my videos. She's like um, Dollar General um, expert, black belt. So maybe she can tell me what happened because like guys, I don't even know. Like this is very bizarre. Okay, so... <laughs> Plus that, that's a subtotal dollar for those finished um, pods, so an extra five bucks. That is the subtotal of $26.10. Now what I did um, was I had two five off of three coupons from the October PNG, and the coupons initially were not scanning, and even though I had a variation of coupons, they just were not scanning. So what the cashier suggested was to scan three of the products 
and then scan that five off of three coupon from the October PNG, scan three more, take off another five off of three coupon, and then everything started scanning perfectly. Um, scan one of the boxes, use that $2 from the Retail Me Not of 9.23, scan um, the, uh, the last fireworks, and then use that two um, dollar coupon again. So boom, 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 boom. And then um, just because she basically scanned this and then scanned my dollar coupon um, for this item as well. And then she did that five more times. Um, so it was kind of tedious on her part, but she was fast. So um, after all of the coupons and all of that stuff, I'm like, hey, hey, let me um, enter my phone number. And then I was assuming the five off of 20 for the game products would come off and I would pay $2.10. But that wasn't the case, guys. Um, I guess some other coupons must have come off and I ended up paying, it was at negative 40, 40 cents. So with the tax, um, I paid 72 cents for this haul and the tax was like $1.12, I believe. Um, no, the tax was 72 cents. I don't even understand this. It basically said I saved 102, 102%, which is like weird. Now I tabulated it and that's an extra $2.50 of coupons. So I'm wondering if my gain coupon came off and I did have a one for these finish, but it's a 50 center that came off. It wasn't a dollar. So I don't know what that 250 is from. And I did the two off of 10 yesterday on both of my store cards. Cause I did this on my store card and my husband's store card. So very, very strange. If you have the those $2 coupons from the Retail Me Not of, I think it's from the Retail Me Not of 9.9. It's not 9.23. I messed that up. And then the October PNG. So if you have those $2 coupons plus the five off of three, and then along with these dollar coupons, and you want to try this, by all means, go for it. I would absolutely get some filler items because if the same thing happens to you, I don't know if there's just extra money coming off or what the story is. I'm just very perplexed and confused by this. And the cashier was nice enough to let me do two transactions and it was great. But in transaction two, um, it was even a bigger negative um, um, thing. It was like minus 55 cents. So she's like, you're going to have to grab something. So I grabbed this at the cash register, an extra um, candy bar. And then I still ended up paying like 50 cents or something. It was a very small amount. So anyhow, guys, I'm just going to show you the receipt really quick. And I am like so confused by this, but you guys know, um, like me at the Dollar General, just weird stuff happens. I'm surprised two lightning bolts didn't come out of the sky, but nice enough manager who helped me. And this is what happened. Um, so let's look at the receipt here really quick. And I don't even understand completely what happened. Like that makes sense, all the dollar coupons came off, but like negative 40 cents, yeah. So for this haul, I paid um, 72 cents. And then the other one, I think I paid 55 cents. So it was very, very strange. And I, and then I went back into my store card to see if like um, my $2 coupon for this or this had come off and um, I couldn't find, the coupons were still there. So I don't know where that extra $2.50 came from. So again, you know, I might actually DM a vintage librarian and ask her to watch this video and get her to look at that receipt because um, it's 102% savings. Like, did I just crack the code of Dollar General and I'm like the new uh, person over there? I, I don't even know what I did and I'm just pleading stupidity here because I don't even know. So... <laughs> So if you want to do this deal, by all means, I would definitely grab something $2.50 to grab that overage because you don't want to have like a negative uh, ratio because it was bizarre. Uh, the manager managed to push one of them through and then I had to get this. So grab something a little bit more than this. And um, yeah, maybe you guys can let me know if you're like ex experienced um, Dollar General shoppers because I don't even know what I did. Um, the last deal that I did was I went over to Walgreens looking for my Aveeno baby wipes and um, my store only had one. And then I looked on my cell phone to see what was in the inventory in the other couple stores in my area. And basically guys, um, I was kind of out of luck. There was nothing. So um, there was, a, every store had one and I needed two to get the deal to, to go. So I unfortunately couldn't do it. Maybe if you live in a, like a bigger um, market, you'll be able to find two in a store. I don't know. Some ladies have had success because I've gotten a couple messages. So I did this deal because I had extra Purex uh, crystal coupons, those dollars off. So I grabbed five of these, um, these flower ones. 
$1.99 uh, this week at Walgreens, and Walgreens had a ton of Purex crystals. That's a price point of $9.95, subtracting those dollar coupons, $5 came off. $4.95, I used um, 5,000 points. You can use your, you can pay tax down with your points over at um, Walgreens in Michigan. So I basically paid um, a little bit out of pocket for that, and um, I just moonwalked out of the store, so I was really happy to get these, because those blue ones, I mean, it, smell, it smells very, like, industrial. It has an industrial scent for me, so I don't really like them, but this one I really do love. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you can help me solve the mystery of, with this gain stuff at the Dollar General, let me know. And a manager checked me out for transaction one and transaction two, so, and she was the one that said, let's scan three and then a coupon. I didn't even know what I was doing, so uh, whatever. This was just fantastic, and I am still confused. So let's uh, maybe uh, Mrs. Vintage Librarian can help us out to make sense of this. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.